Back in 1900, people are drinking from communal water pumps, also using a communal metal cup. Now obviously this is spreading bacteria and disease. <laughs> So to rectify this problem, disposable cups were invented. Back in 1912, a lawyer from Boston named Lawrence Llewellyn launched the Health Cup. This didn't actually gain popularity until six years later with the outbreak of the Spanish flu. In 1963, the paper cup company Sherry Cup saw a chance to create a new type of cup. They called this cup the Anthora, and it was basically created in response to all the Greek immigrants who were opening up delis and diners in New York. This cup is the famous blue and white cup with the words, we are happy to serve you on it. And still today in New York, we see people carrying this cup. Not only is coffee to go culture still huge in New York, it's expanded all across North America. If we compare this to how Europeans drink coffee, they tend to see it as a more sit down social activity. North Americans on the other hand, always have their to go cup with them to help them get through their busy days. In fact, it's really become sort of a fashion accessory, thanks in part to American sitcoms.